Tammy's sister got married yesterday. It helped make some sense of Tammy's life organizing this. Her husband, Carl, was to have been best man, but he is in the Gulf at the front. And now also we wish to ask all of you to bow in a silent prayer for Sergeant Carl Comer. There are all kinds of reasons to cry at weddings. Just before the service, Tammy found out the ground war had begun. I don't even remember the ceremony at the wedding. I wasn't paying attention to it. She was back at work this morning, managing rental properties near the big marine base, playing mother hen to the other wives whose husbands may be in harm's way, too. He called me Wednesday night. I, he's been calling me. I was just like, I, he's been, I could tell, you know, the fear in his voice. And, everything. and was astonished to hear a friend's gunnery sergeant husband had called home after a trip into Kuwait. I've knocked down 25 tanks so high. You know. The phone has made this war much different for families at home. Better? Not necessarily. What a roller coaster. They hear not enough and too much at the same time. During the day, I'm pretty busy. I work and with the kids and all, but it affects me the most at night. Such emotional strain is not a thing one easily gets used to. And now the roller coaster is at its climax. And so the whole town has a nervous ear on the news and a hand out to give or take comfort. And at Lord Jesus, you... Across town this morning was a church service at which people touched the families of servicemen and prayed for all soldiers and an end to this soon. I just, we pray every night and just want to bring them home safe. Something Tammy was already praying for. Keith Morrison, NBC News, Oceanside, California.